everybody. I wanted to. Okay, hold up. I think uh, MEVR is going to kick in. Hopefully. I gotta tell you, when MEVR, like. Okay, let me explain something about MEVR. Like. The, in the earlier updates, I tell you. In the earlier updates, it would be like. Sometimes it would uninstall itself and then it had to reinstall it. It'd be so annoying, guys. You have no idea. I'm making this video. I'm making this video. And I'm probably gonna. You know, actually. Even though I'm recording this at night, let's just uh, roll back clock a little bit. Oh, roll it back, roll it back, roll it back. Yeah, there we go. So, you're probably wondering, Bugsy, why'd you spend all your time in here today? Mostly, well, because, you know, G4 was going down, and I'm still a little bit sad, but I'm getting over it, because I'm starting to realize there was no way, like, if, I mean, I started to think about my ideas and how good, though, how good those have actually been, but when I really think about it, just putting the old, like, X-Play episodes and old Attack of the Shows using uh, G4, using the old G4 Rewind bumps could have probably saved it a little bit because, you know, some people want to see the old X-Play and stuff. Nothing from when X-Play, like, was on its last leg in the beginning, like, when it, when it first got canceled because uh, I kind of don't like that. I mean, sure, it was still X-Play at the end of the day, but oh my god, they took all the other G4 shows and kind of put them together in this weird homunculus. It's kind of weird. I didn't think I'd be saying goodbye to G4 again. And I don't care how any, how a whole bunch of people say, like, I told you so, I told you so, oh my god, Bugsy, I told you. They'd be like, I told you so. I'm like, motherfucker, I don't care if you told me so. You didn't really tell me so. You told everybody else because honestly, because honestly, y'all, some of you wanted it to fail. Some of you didn't think it could work. I feel like if, I feel like my, if they, I feel like my ideas would have probably saved it because honestly, just telling them that there's like a steady block of like all these Attack of the Show episodes and freaking X-Play episodes like hd -ified? Some people will watch that, like real, like real quick, like. But it is what it is. You know, I didn't think I'd say goodbye to G4 a second time, but yeah, it is what it is, man. I just think, you know, if Ben tried to be G4 before G4 actually came back, and it, like, I was gonna, like, I was gonna be like, oh my god, Ben and G4 are probably gonna compete. It's gonna be good, but then Ben kind of like fizzled out. It was like Ben kind of fizzled out. It was like you know, it was just kind of done. And then G four comes back because Ben was trying to be like what G four was back in the day, and it kind of tried to do that. But again, with all these things, they just kind of fizzle out. Do I really think that? Do I really think that Foss is the plan? No, Foss, like I said before, put the nails in the coffin. But honestly, because it's, but honestly, it's all the, like, from what I found out that G4 was hemorrhaging money, like, nobody's fucking business, and, you know, Com you know Comcast was like, you know what, now we pulling the plug, man, we pulling the fucking plug. Because this is how business works, and uh, I want you to take notes, Dave MOP. I want you to take fucking notes. 
if a company finds something not viable, they're, they're not making enough viewers or they're not making any money, and they're just going to take it away. Such is the way of business. So basically, I uh, made a... I basically uh, made, made a bunch of tweets to save them on pain, but again, that motherfucker probably leaves me on read because I was like, because I was like, dude, you know, you can't, Hasbro's not gonna care, but you could still probably, Hasbro ain't gonna care without the money. Other fan continuations for things that are happening, you should make it into a fan work, it spins. Get some money together and do that. But, like, why? Well, why is this motherfucker I gonna block me? Or he's gonna hear about... He doesn't want to hear what I gotta say. And that's okay. Like, most people... Most people don't want to... Most people choose not to listen to me. Because, well, they think they know what's, bet, what's better when I'm just, like, offering them a bunch of ideas. But it is what it is. Because some people just... You know, you try to, you try to dodge them and help them, but they, you know, some people just think you're trying to fuck with them. I mean, I remember when I was dealing with Jared the motherfucking Fox. That dude, oh my god. I was trying to explain to him what was going on. He said, you're doing this for your ego, and it's just so stupid. Like, I really hate motherfuckers that think I'm just doing this. I'm doing any kind of thing. Any kind of thing just to fuck with them. Like, yeah, dude, I, I really just want to spend my time messing with you. I, it's not like I got any, any important things to do. I just felt the need to talk to you about something, but you want to think I'm hostile. Go fuck yourself. No, no, no. No, not go fuck yourself. Get over yourself. Because I'm not sitting here going, yes, let me go fuck with you for it hour even though I'm a creative person even though I'm working on other things myself and I spent the moment to make this video only because it probably put me behind schedule just a bit while I'm working on this other stuff just a bit but I'm doing it and I'm forgoing all my shit just to mess with you like dude get real other people got other things to do if I come to talk to you about something I didn't listen or don't, but don't insinuate that I'm trying to fuck with you just because. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, people don't know me. And because you don't know me, you don't know my intentions. But like, if I'm not coming at you overly hostile and I'm not like literally going, you know, being real, real sarcastic, like, like overtly sarcastic, and I'm not giving you backhanded compliments. Yeah, that means I'm trying to help. Fucking recognize it. Just fucking recognize it. Jesus. <laughs> but, um... So, yeah. Some people are really, like, tripping about... Like, Blade Runner, once again, is just talking about... No one's gonna play Sonic... Sonic Frontiers because of the f because you know you're collecting stuff and puzzles and stuff and I just want to boost 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 I'm like dude just because you don't like the combat just because like dude I've seen this man I was looking at Pony Ring that man dry humps like the dude like dry humps hungrily on fucking Sonic Heroes I'm just sitting there going, bro, my friend Crimson likes Sonic Heroes, but even he, even he wouldn't just, well, he has reasons why he likes it, but he's not like, Blade Runner's just like, just always saying, they, like, just saying, oh, but the multiple characters and blah, 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 but it just really irks me that, like, he's just browbeating, um, he's just browbeating freaking Sonic Frontiers. I was just thinking it ain't gonna be for him. Because, you know, you actually have to explore, get collectibles. I don't think this man has ever played a collectible in his life. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me uh, with Play Remy, how like, um, 
this one, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna name names, but this one Sonic, this former Sonic, dude, this former dude that used to do Sonic content, how he was, was talking to this dude and Blaine just like, oh, you just seeing this stuff to mess with me. I'm like, I looked at that comment, I was like, I looked at the video, I'm like, he didn't say nothing to like, fuck with you, what the, what are you talking about? Like, I just, like, I think Blade Ray might be a good, like, a good dude in the IRL, but, like, when it comes to YouTube stuff, this man, this man, when it comes to Sonic, when it comes to, when it comes to anything Sonic that's different, because, like, it's like Sonic can't fucking change. You gotta be the same thing. Like, every fucking time. Sonic gotta be the same thing over and over again. That's a, what I he implies, like, no one's playing it for the puzzles and stuff, but you know, that's how you do things in an open world. They got Cocos, which are like Koroks. Have you played? I mean, I don't know if you played Breath for a while, but you know, I think it's gonna, I think the combat, a little bit, little, little bit of like puzzles is gonna be pretty fun. I'm not gonna get too, I'm not gonna get too up in arms about it. Some. That's the one thing, when Sonic has been one, you know, the thing about Sonic, when he's been one thing for too long, people get too kind of used to, like, various forms of gameplay, so when he tries something new, and let's be real, when Sonic even tries something new for a minute, eh, some people will be up in arms about it, other people are too burned about Sonic French, Sonic Forces to even try, give this game a try. And other people are just gonna hate on it for clout because, well, that's what people do, you know. Or other people will just hate on it because everybody else is having fun and they just don't understand. So it's better, to, it's better for them to piss off. It's better for them to piss. It's better for them to piss with, you know, just basically piss off everybody that they see and try to get some sort of rise, knowing that sometimes, knowing that is the only way. But me. But Blaine Ray is just kind of like, I'm, get, I'm just gonna, like, no one's gonna play it for the puzzles and exploring the world in the combat. Everybody's gonna play it for the service. <laughs> I don't know, it just felt like that to me. Like, the open world, not nothing, not nothing cool, but these cyberspace levels. Mm -hmm. This is like, I'm like, bro. Bro, really? How's it gonna be? You just gonna. You <laughs> How's your playthrough of Sonic Frontiers even gonna look? Just, just real pissed off that you just gotta look for stuff to get into the cyberspace levels. Just, oh my god. And there's a perfect video roasting Planet Remy for like all the shit he says in this one video. I can't do it justice. But I believe that it's just like, I don't know, like. Planet Remy is just not one of my, like, actual, like, he's not really a Sonic YouTuber I actually, a Sonic YouTuber I like, to be honest. So when I see little stuff like this, I'm just like, well, okay, you and your friend Twimp, that's just kind of what you guys do. Get pissed about, get pissed about Sonic games and where they even come out. But I like how people have played Sonic Frontiers, and now they're just like real hype for it. While everybody, like everybody, everybody is kind of pessimistic, and they have a right to be after Sonic Forces. I mean, like that thing didn't deliver. We all wanted something cool, but the only thing I really enjoyed were, you know, custom characters. You you act like, but it's like Bugsy. But why did they just put it in because of the fan base or because every? That, and also because every other game had custom created characters. It was the style at the time. If you didn't really. It's the style at the time. If you didn't understand that. Like, uh, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. Yes, it was for the fan. It was for the fans. But two, it was for every other freaking game that has that. Like, Xenoverse, Jump, Jump Force, and a bunch of other shit. So, like, I'm just sitting here going... Do y'all do do understand that, like, literally, 
like quite literally like do you guys understand that quite literally um that was in like every game at one point <laughs> well not every game but like most of the games I wanted you to plop you into a different world in a familiar world that uh with you know with your very characters I'm like do y'all not understand that <sighs> but either way I only love forces because really you know I had a little cheesy little childhood wish I got fulfilled so I was happy with that everything else though in time for Everything else is like forces kind of sucked balls. I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it didn't. But I'm not gonna hate Sonic. I'm not gonna hate Sonic Frontiers because Sonic Frontiers went into development probably a little bit after, probably a bit after forces, and they've been working on it for this long. A lot of rest of you were just sitting here saying, "Please, please give us Sonic and game news, please." Please just get it on your knees. I'm not, I'm not gonna say what you did on your knees, but I'm gonna say you were on your knees. <laughs> but like I said, but like I said, folks, you know, I you know if they're actually like to me, from what I've been seeing. And some people have been sneaking leaks in, into my periphery, my peripheral. And I've been like, so I saw a little bit of it. I just want like a peek of it. For a minute. Because I clicked off it. And what I did see is that they actually, that there may be some actual effort put in this. You know? They're actually trying again. They're not just. They're not just doing what they've been doing and just calling it a day. They're actually giving us more. And some people are like, well, it's not going to be this. Like, we're not going to have this amount of time and forces and all this other stuff. And I'm like, okay. But I'm still going to have fun regardless. Traversing all these different islands. Hopefully getting some chaos emerald lore. I need more. Okay? I need more I need some more chaos and lore because honestly, Unleash only gives you a little bit, and I need the whole shank. Okay, because I know how in like the Archie comics how the chaos emeralds come to be, but I want to know how they come to be in the game universe. Okay, I want to know. I want to know. So we might be getting that. I think the connection. I think. I'm starting to think that maybe the ancient civilization may not be like photoners, but probably Sonic's version of what photoners are. Not saying we're gonna see, not like we're gonna, not like we're gonna see, you know, Jaron Zeon again because if we because it's all Zeon. I'm gonna sit there. Y'all are gonna understand. You guys, you guys are gonna be so confused, and I'm gonna be sitting there and gonna be like, get back. How? Why? Yeah, like, like seriously, if this was, if this, if this stuff was really connected to PSO2, I'd lose my mind. You guys would be so confused because some of you don't play it. Most of the people who watch me, watch me for Sonic, and that's about it. So, the moment you see PSO2 stuff, you're going to be real confused. I'm going to sit there and be like, we're arcs. And none of you are going to know, you know, like, if I say weird arts, none of you are going to know what that means. You're going to sit there and be like, what the fuck is this man talking about? And I'm just going to be like, play PSO2. Maybe I might actually learn something. You know, you all love Sonic so much, but you don't know, you don't know the histories of various games. It kind of makes you sad. I mean, some of you that watch Sonic, you barely know about this. Some people um, have literally just not watched, like, other than the Sega Genesis Reddit, who has looked at my Sonic stuff, I mean, have looked at my, you know, my Sega Channel stuff, the rest of you, it is like, nah. I don't know. 
God, I love this. I love this. Y'all don't understand. I get, like... I'm probably gonna do another video just kind of pretending like this is this month's uh, October edition of Sega Channel Revi Revival. You think I didn't know it's empty? I didn't do, like I didn't have to do it this week because I did it months earlier because Billy Time put it out. But I'm just kind of happy that he did it early, so I can just have it and I can just play it. Like, none of you guys know nothing about Sega, like, history, history. But, um, yeah. It's just convenient to have it like this. Just to have this game. Information, information. This game is Test Drive of Garfield caught in the act. You are only allowed 30 minutes of uninterrupted play. Literally, and I think Billy Time took the 30 minutes out. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're playing Garfield. <laughs> Y'all know I have a uh, weird, and now even weirder, relationship with Garfield doing this Gilbert Garfield stuff. Wouldn't it be weird if, like, Billy Time was, like, in on the Gilbert Garfield stuff and, like, put some Gilbert Garfield references in? Like, how weird would that be? Count Slob, Count Slobula's Castle. Nothing says Halloween like Garfield. But there's also some stuff I get. There's also some stuff I've been looking at the Gilbert Garfield stuff. I will find Veroni secrets, man. Things hitting you every five minutes. And Garfield's looking at me like, Motherfucker, you did that again. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Garfield. I'm sorry, I displeased you. Oh, crap. I gotta grab the tongues again. Ghost, I bet it's me. I hate this game. 
believe for you, and I'm going to break the illusion just for a minute. Just so you know, this whole thing is powered by Red George. For those of you that don't know. Bam, 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 bam. So, um, I'm going to play one more thing. I must. It's the only way people are actually going to watch this video, so I'm going to play some new Bean Machine. I'll give you one to do, my friend. It's time to play some boy up. Some boy up. Crap, I forget. I came to suck at this. Crap. Yeah, I gotta mess my own stuff up here. I do. I humbly ask, though, could someone, anyone, Make like a scourge mod. <laughs> Frontiers when it comes to, like make a scourge mod at some point for Sonic Frontiers. I mean like that'd be great. I know that's probably like not even gonna happen. Because I know how a lot of people just hate Scourge because they still think that freaking Ken Penders owns Scourge, which he doesn't. So these, you know, people be thinking
Jeez, I wasn't trying to do that. I just stopped. Okay, one more, okay, one more shot here. We got in the locker room. Do we have you? What? Yeah. Got Dribble. We got Buster Douglas' boxing. We got unnecessary roughness. But, you know, Mutant League should have been in here. I've already said, like, literally, um, Deep Space Nine and Star Trek have been my favorite, but let's do some ooze real fast. But basically, um, <laughs> let me. He started talking again because I was just silent playing me being machine. But either way, okay. So the thing is, you know what? Let me just put Let me just put this back to its actual time. Just so it looks a little bit more spooky in here. You know what? What 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 weirdo plays with the lights on? This is the old days, guys. We look up the TV's plate. I gotta be honest. For me, it was more like yeah, it was more like. I think of this as a little impromptu Bugsy the Log and also Bugsy's Log rebooted but also kind of a Halloween special at the same time. But yeah, so I got two legs left, and then after that, I'll talk more about I'll talk more about a few things, a few more things. I always thought that Ooze was a very interesting game. Just simply all the all the little how you move around and stuff. I always kind of like that. But sometimes you can get yourself stuck.
But yeah. It, you know, but it's really shocking how many people know, like, know about Sonic, but not about Sega and the Genesis. And, you know, some people do look at, like, you know, Game Historian and God forbid Top Hat Gaming. About, like, everything they want to know about Sega and stuff. Or, you know, or people like Teddy Rokeskin and. Of the YouTubers that talk about game collection. A, there are a few, there are like a few people. Oh god. They got the ooze and they hit him. They hit him from the people. So, let's... Bum, bum, bum. Let's turn this up. Let's turn this on. So, another thing, guys, I want to talk to you guys about. Since, you know, it really does kind of irk me, man, that, like, when it comes right down to it, None of these people, like the only people that really watch me, you know, watch my Sega Channel Revival stuff every month, is are the people who literally watch, the people who literally watch me do Sega, the people who literally on Reddit, the Sega Genesis, like the Sega Genesis um, subreddit, and I can't thank those guys enough. Because a lot, but a lot of you, but some of these, but these guys are cool, but other people that just want, like, everybody clamors for when I got, like, everybody clamors for when I got, like, a Sonic, you know, one of the Archie Sonic Online stuff, but no one really wants to watch them. I feel like the breakdowns either get more or less, depending on a lot of different factors. Some people don't really like the character aspects of those reviews, but it's like, dude, it's a part of it's a part of what I do. It's called Big Three Box Network for a reason, man. Like, no one understands. Like, Big Three Box Network actually comes from the fact that I do three characters on this channel, and usually they either talk about video games or they have their own plot going on. It's really annoying that, like, no one wants to see that, but, you know, and, you know, and sometimes it's like, you know, some people say, like, dude, show them what, I gotta turn off the accelerating time, it's starting to slow, it's starting to slow shit down. Okay, it's uh, a little bit better. Little sluggish, but let me turn this off. See if that does anything. Oh, well, kind of. But anyways, you know it. It does, you know, it does argue that you know I talk about like, I, like it really does argue because when I look at the watch time for like any of those reviews, it's like. They'll watch it, probably skip through a lot of stuff, and then, you know, just, like, two minutes. Like, my videos are more than two minutes, but no one actually decides, hey, maybe as I'm, like, reading and reviewing it, they can have something on in the background while they listen to me. But, you know, like, no one wants to do that because, you know, if I'm not talking about Sonic or pre-reboot Sonic, no one cares. Is freaking the homes like my homestead my homestead kind of plot that I got going on it takes place after my old stuck stuff before I start writing that again 
No, no, man, no one cares, man. No one cares about the bats. Everybody cares about. Everybody cares about Sonic, you know? When I do Sonic Frontiers, I'm gonna do so much Sonic, you're gonna be sick of me. Or some of you will. Others will probably be like, no, it's not enough. It's not enough, Bugsy. More Sonic. It's like enough. It's like. No matter, and I feel like, even if I do this, none, none of you will ever feel like it's enough. But the mo but I think it's because, of, but I know, really, it's because I'm one of the, I'm one of the few people on this, on this website, on this, on YouTube, that actually reviews the Archie Sonic comic. The Archie Sonic the Archie Sonic Archie Sonic Online. I'm the only one that does it. I'm one of the only people that actually does review it and just does it in my character voices. Because, well, I like having fun, you know? Because I could do a regular review and be like, oh yeah, Sonic did this, Sonic did that. No, but I like doing it in character because it still keeps with the core theme the core theme of my channel. You guys wanted to know what, really what my core theme was? The core theme is having my characters kind of do videos, but still have their own little uh, arcs going on in the background. Maybe do a few more videos here and there. And then, you know, just do videos. But the, the whole thing is supposed to have the aesthetic of actually you're watching like a TV channel. Like somehow, you somehow stumble on to the Big Three Rocks Network. Not like the midnight. It's not like the midnight channel. Like we want you all to get into your t get into your computers and we take you to, we take you to some place. Like this Persona Four or some shit. No, it's like you find it, and it's like a TV channel. And it's not like something is off. I'm not trying to give you creepy pasta vibes. Or my character just look at the screen and be like, yes, comment, comment, please, yes. Not what I'm trying to do. But, yeah, it's about to have the aesthetic of, like, an actual TV channel. And trust me, there's going to be bumpers in between videos and stuff like that, just to kind of make... And, you know, I was actually going to have, like, I'm still gonna do this. So like, they have little shorts that kind of, that kind of like, they like little commercials or little things going on, you know, stuff like that. But sometimes, but I just kind of hate it when people just, I get like the comments like, <clears throat> please, please make another issue. Like, do, do you do you see me not make? Do you see the fact that I don't? Like, do you see the fact that I'm just the guy that reviews it? Like, I get more comments for that, like, every day. And sometimes YouTube hides them. So I'll get, like, a notification. I'll see it. And then I'll be like... Then I'll be in, like, the thing ready to type up a response. And then... Boop! It's gone. Hmm. <sighs> And I think soon we're gonna really, I'm gonna really try the whole TV aesthetic a little bit more. Also, there may be little bits and bobs with VR chat stuff and um, and Gmod stuff. So, yeah. Also, there may or may not be some spam team related side content. Yes. Because in the Bugsyverse, there's a lot of different Bugsies, but y'all you haven't seen the one thing I had, I'm actually planning for like for like November. It is going to 
going to be a week. Hmm. Because, because it's going to be a little bit interesting, but other than that, like, we still got the plot for, the plot for, like, Crimson 2 being kind of coinciding with the uh, plot in the background. And people say, like, Bugsy, did you, you know, did, one person actually asked me, was it deliberate that I had, uh, Prime and AF kind of, you know, go away from their path and choose to actually just save everybody and put them on the timeline. Put them in that locked timeline. It was always kind of a plan because, you know, I feel like Prime and AF, you know, they do things for the signless. You know, because they're disciples and they feel kind of guilty that they ran. Instead of standing and fighting, and probably getting killed by the Empire, but still trying to, like, fight back, they ran. You gotta feel that reg regret if you go to, like, if you watch my uh, Disney Quest video, where we get to Dark Clear, Dark, Dark Clear, and how he just, how Prime just literally feels. You know, the whole, why did I run, why did I run, you know, that stuff. Because the thing is that people don't get that Prime is overpowered, but he's not. But he's not like this. But he's not always this. He's not like a cynical. He's not like a huge cynical dick that thinks he's just this powerful motherfucker. And, you know, no one can touch him because he's lost a lot of things. The fact that he didn't stand and fight for, you know, for the, um, for the silence and for the blade was kind of his, you know, kind of how, you know, feels bad about that. <clears throat> and even though he kind of tries to go, you know, kind of gets through it, he still kind of has that guilt feeling. And it kind of, AF still kind of has that too. Because they're both... They're both, you know, he, you know, AF is from a Dune timeline. If you know what Dune timelines are from the Homestuck universe, you kind of get it, right? But then, but then, you know, he has his own, he has his own pain from like his timeline screwing up, but it getting fixed and all stuff. But I'm not really going to explain how it happens because I haven't finished writing all the stuff yet. The first act is still being written. As I speak to you. <sighs> but yeah, there's a lot of things. Going on with that. And, uh, yeah. And yeah. But no one would be interested in that because, you know, the only time to get a buzz is, like, the Sonic stuff. I'm pretty much... I feel like I'm doing the Homestuck stuff literally for myself. And then we got these other... We got these other, like, people talking about how Take Back Cannon's bad and, like... Oh, people will see that, but, like, what? I'm doing like a friend sim thing and I put a spin on it. No, I even do I even do it like you're looking at a sound page with the kind with the with the um the way I titled the video. I don't know, it's just me lamenting, I guess. But you know, stuff like that. But, you know, People have been wondering, people have also kind of, some, some folks have been asking me, am I going to just, you know, discontinue the Dark Carnival? 
I kind of want to still continue it, but I feel like no one's really here. No one really, like, cares too much to see it. And where I kind of, you know, where I could be putting out all, you know, I'm probably going to just do, like, like a single, like, think about it as, like, a single player Dark Carnival where I talk about all the different traps, all the different, all the different riddles, and the minotaurs and all that stuff just to kind of say yes this is what would have been planned if you guys actually participated the thing about it was the dark carnival wasn't really going to have a villain it was actually just going to be just you going in the dark carnival dealing with the various things actually some of you actually getting destroyed by one of the hazards and actually being in the dream bubbles. Yeah, because I wanted to connect the Dark Carnival to basically the stuff, the home stuff, all the stuck stuff I'm doing. So, yeah, there's going to be a whole thing where you guys, be, you guys, you know, you guys uh, cease to be, get terminated, and then you end up in the dream bubble. So, basically, I'd have a whole different, like, There'd be a whole different route for you guys that are dream that are like dream bubble ghost. And I'm gonna talk about that more when we get to that. When we actually get to that. Like the dream like I was gonna explain the dream bubble. I'm gonna explain the dream bubbles. How does this all correlate? Maybe someone touches a Bill Cipher statue and then it starts the it would have started the next Dark Carnival, which I may just make into a single player, a single story kind of thing, because honestly, unless I get like a lot of people that want to do this, it's just uh, it's better if I just do it more self-contained, because I'm not getting rid of the Dark Carnival idea. No, I'm just gonna actually just do it. If anybody looks at it, cool. But instead, uh, ne next year, I'm probably just going to get, like, a surrogate, a surrogate character. There's going to be a character that does all the, does all the things, so you guys actually get to see that. Yeah, just, with explaining how no one's, like, going to, going to the Dark Carnival, really, like, it really just kind of, like, makes me sad because you know I do all these things I plan all this stuff out I work on these actual riddles that are just coming from me and you know it's just no one cares no one cares how much effort I put into every video you know and maybe that's why I just haven't been like doing the whole intro and outro thing anymore because it's like does anybody even really care that I'm does anybody really care <sighs> cause I wanna I wanna I didn't say I deal with like edits and stuff, but, like, if no one's watching, you know, it's like, why should I put enough effort in it if no one's gonna watch? Or maybe, or some people are gonna watch and be like, oh, you're doing voices, that's cringe, and I'm like, motherfucker, at least I'm doing voices, at least I'm putting myself out there while the rest of you either, you know, while some people who do comment that leave me, like, these shitty things, like, oh, you're cringe because you do voices. No! I don't think I can spell out for you clear enough. I'm an amateur voice actor. I don't re- If you don't understand I do voices, like, wow. You must be the most stupidest motherfucker in the world that don't really get that. Like, I don't know if it ever really occurred to you, but... I don't know if it ever really occurred to you in that stupid little think pad of yours. But yeah, I actually do other- I actually do voices. And even though you may think it's cringe, at least I'm doing something. At least I'm showing some originality, while the rest of you can just comment about it and don't have any videos because 
guess what? You guys are scared to do anything. And that's why. And that's why I do the voices. Because at least, because YouTube is saturated, right? So, honestly, I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of originality so I actually stick out. Rather than trying to, you know, do everything that's trending, you know? I feel like the G4 stuff is trending because it's current and something that aligns with my interests. That's why, I'm, that's why that video is doing so well. Just wish some people would comment more. But then again, will Twitter, when like YouTube treats you like that, like you're that dirty, <laughs> like you're the dirty little secret and the only thing that shows up is your Sonic videos, that gives everybody the wrong impression about your videos. Yeah, Sonic's a part of it, but that's not all that I do. And then when vi then when videos that, like when older videos get pushed, like my old rant videos, people just be like, "Narrow Bugsy, you still you still think like that, even though it was years ago." I mean, like that Super LeBron, yes, some dude just like always kept coming to me because he kept looking at those, and then tried to. Then he tried to freaking, he tried to literally, he tried to literally, I don't know, in his weird way, try to bully me, where I'm just like, dude, I'm a grown man, I, I, I don't know what you think you're going to get out of me. Like, I don't think, like, I usually used to get like a bunch of these, I'm like, dude, I'm a grown ass man, what do you, what do y'all want? Do you want me to give you attention? Uh, I'm not. I'm not a parent. I'm not your parent, or anybody's parent, really. Hey, you can't. You can't expect me to just be like, oh man. Oh man, emo fan number ninety-seven needs my attention. Like Jesus, I'm just a guy trying to do a video, do a bunch of videos. But you look at my old videos that are years old. And think that I still think like that because none of you are, because none of those people actually look at the fucking date. But it's like, no, no, we're gonna just make a, we're just gonna make a comment and just bounce. You know, the one thing I saw accused me of was like I didn't watch the whole video. I didn't watch your whole video. I did, but it just proved. But when I tried to tell her about all the stuff, and she's like, no, you didn't watch the full video, blah blah blah. And it was like this big thing. It really still gets on my nerves whenever I think about it. So sometimes I'll just like I'll be working on something and then boom. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I get mad about it too. And it's like uh Because that's how my brain works. Even when stuff happened like years ago, I'm still gonna like think about it and then get pissed off all over again. Just how it works. It's just, there's one person, there's one person, like, uh, came on my, my website, came up on my YouTube and said, I'm gonna, I'm going to unalive you. If you tell him, if you report me, but I will. And I'm like, okay. Like, I think that person really thought I was afraid. I was just like, okay, man, whatever. You ain't gonna do shit. That's what that really meant. It's just like, you ain't gonna do shit to me, okay? But, um, yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the new regular comments I get are usually from my, my friends. You know, a few other people. Like, like Blue, like Blue Web Surfer. Who I don't see a lot often in my comments, but when he comes around, I'm just like, oh, hey, it's you, dude. I used to, like, in some any equality, this man would just come to my videos. And he would just be like, are you going to talk about, are you going to talk about Sonic and Amy? Are you going to talk about the post reboot? Are you gonna talk about 
cocktails and cream and knuckles and moves being a, being a thing. I'm just like, do you know which do you know which channel you're on? Do you know which channel you're on, Mac? You wanna you wanna do channel who loves the pre the pre reboot? You're on a you're on a channel that basically doesn't like to talk about Sonic Amy and just wants to do his own videos because. But I know when my videos are long, no one wants to look because the, some people that watch me, um, they don't have like a large. Some people don't have larger attention spans. Not everybody, just some people have noticed that lately. But I think um I think I'm done. Oh yeah, let me, let me just say something. I'm tired of these so-called people, these so-called anti SJW saying that we're still in a culture war. I think I think that whole mindset of just going after going after people that are woke is just kind of dumb because you're never gonna change actual SGWs or woke people's minds because they're just gonna they're just gonna keep saying and doing or they're gonna be like the aunties and keep on saying and doing shit and you're just you're like you're just frustrating yourself every day and it just and to me I just go you know what I don't even care anymore I'm just doing videos that I wanna do instead of just getting mad at every motherfucker in the room because you know clownfish and quartering all these motherfuckers like, they want to do their little thing, that's fine, but to me, it's just, it just, like, when you start seeing people make, like, make videos about the purple m m being trans, and them just trying to really just really mess with the purple m m like it's an, like it's an actual person, that's that moment where you just say, I'm glad that I'm out of, I'm glad that I'm out of that, out of that side of YouTube, I'm glad. I'm glad I only put up the fan brat basher stuff when I'm actually when I'm actually ang when I'm when I'm angry about something that actually matters to me and not like oh my god Eminem big Eminem candy that's on in a commercial what not oh well is the former Disney employee that makes clownfish TV where I gotta keep talking about this stuff because well our kids need to eat and we don't have any. My dog just, my dog is looking at me and smiling at me. I swear. I swear, Princess is like, I swear, Princess is like my own biggest, my own biggest fan. Because every, because every video I do, she just, like, smiles. She smiles and kind of enjoy. I don't know, she probably either just likes the fact that I'm talking a lot, or just... I don't know, digs that I'm doing all this stuff. I don't know. But just, she always gives me like the biggest, she always looks at me when I do these videos and gives me the biggest smile. And I'm like, ah. Like she is now. Well, now she's basically grooming herself, but for a minute she was giving me one up smiles again. But I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later, and I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm doing what I want. And it would be nice if I had, like, viewers, but I know that it don't matter what I do, people are just going to go see Sonic, and you know what? If they want Sonic, I'll give them Sonic. They're going to get so much of it this November, they're going to get sick of it. They're going to beg me to talk about something else. And plus... I lo I'm g I'm gonna blame the shit out of Sonic Frontiers anyway, so it's just like it's gonna be it's just, uh, it's just like yeah, of course I'm gonna play this, of course I'm gonna play it. But I shall see you all later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm thinking of actually just uh, releasing it probably like at ten to ten today. This is kind of a big, grand video. But I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm not going to put an intro and outro on this, but I am going to start doing more bumpers. 
So we're gonna do that. Peace. Well, I'm gonna do that. Why I say we? Like I actually have a team of people on my side. It's just me working on these. And to and to a greater extent, Taka helping me out every now and again. I mean, I like to think when Taka helps me out, it's like he's he's kind of like a part timer of the channel. But uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.